I love that song. Hi guys, welcome to the three time national spelling bee champions, the People's Duchess. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so glad that I could be with you guys here having a little kiki over our faves. And speaking of our favorite people, today's Happy Black History Month highlight goes to the lovely, the incomparable Kelly Rowland. Now, unless you have been in a coma for the last 25 years, you know that Kelly is a multi award winning singer, elite songwriter, elite dancer, and of course, a founding member of Destiny's Child. So, Kelly Rowland obviously is. I mean, legendary, right? Destiny's Child, her solo career was banging. She is just a, an amazing, outstanding mother, wife, everything. She does it all, producer, everything. She actually met Megan back in 2014, and here they are pictured. And then obviously and famously again at Beyonce's Los Angeles wing of her Renaissance tour concert, looking absolutely stunning. The ladies all look amazing. I love Kelly Rowland. She is not only an amazing artist, but she's also quite the philanthropist. Um, after Hurricane Katrina in 2005, Kelly and Beyonce found founded the Survivor Foundation, which is a charitable entity set up to provide transitional housing for victims and storm evacuees in the Houston, Texas area. She works with tons of charities, including the American Foundation for AIDS Research, Miss Emile, the Muhammad Ali Center, Save the Children, Save the Music Foundation, Baby to Baby, Autism Speaks, Boys and Girls Club of America. I mean, there's so many more. She is just an amazing human being. I'm just really glad to see her having that sistership with Megan, um, defending her right to exist peaceably. <laughs> That's like literally all anyone ever asked for. I'm just really happy to have seen this clip and I wanna share it with you guys. Especially as women, like I just saw something happen with Meghan Markle and they're like people are picking on her and I feel like if we're women and we're joining in on the the rah rah sis boom bah, shame on us if we do that. So we can't do that to each other. I love that. It's the rah rah sis boom bah for me. But still very powerful, very succinct words from Kelly, really speaking to the heart of the issue. If you are a woman who spends all your time attacking other women, Really, that is a shameful thing to be. That is a shameful way to live your life. It is very harmful to yourself. You might think that you're harming someone else or making someone else feel bad, which they might feel bad or whatever the case might be, but actually you're harming yourself. Everything that I see as far as Megan is concerned is projection, 100%. This whole, oh, she's a no one, she's an unknown, she's a D-list actress. That's really just you crying over your 375 an hour job that you feel unseen, unheard, and unloved in. When you say she's ugly, that's really just you complaining because you look like Camilla Tomini or Queen Camilla. When you call her a narcissist, firstly, give me the DSM textbook definition of narcissism and then give me an example, just one single example of how Megan has been a narcissist. When you say that, what you're openly admitting to is that she's beautiful, she knows she's beautiful, hence going into acting, she is knowledgeable of her worth, and that's also uncomfortable for you because most of you are deeply insecure and she's not self-deprecating. And again, most of you are deeply insecure. So you make fun of yourself so that others don't do it first. You preempt that negativity and Megan doesn't do that. She's very uplifting of herself and others and that grinds your gears because women aren't supposed to know they're beautiful. When you call Harry a traitor, it's because you are racist and don't think that white people should put anything above their race. When you call her attention seeking, it's because you are jealous of the attention that she is in fact receiving. She's not seeking it, they seek her. Megan doesn't seek attention at this point. She has gotten to a level where people seek her. She doesn't need to seek anybody's attention and you know that. And this whole, she has bad behavior, it's her behavior, it's not anything else. Name the behavior. Name the behavior. 
because so far you guys have been unable to successfully do that. They can never point to the behavior. It's always like quote unquote behavior. There's no yelling, there's no screaming, there's no knocking people down and breaking dog bowls. There's none of that. They've never seen her actually behave badly. So they say things that she does that are in promotion of herself or for Archwell or for whatever the cause might be that she's supporting, that's a quote unquote behavior. News flash for you guys. Those are not behaviors, okay? Talking about archetypes is not a behavior. Refusing to go somewhere or going somewhere is not a behavior, all right? Naming your child is not a behavior, okay? I hate to break it to you, but I'm sure you already knew that. And Kelly sums it up really nicely here, and I love her for that. So beautiful words, very beautiful words from Kelly Rowland. I absolutely love her. Kudos to her. Congratulations on all her success. So there's more good news. The Duchess of Sussex has stricken a podcast deal with Lemonada Media, which will see her launching a new show and distributing archetypes to all platforms. <laughs> what new show? I'm just like, so like, uh, I need more details. This is gonna be really great. The Duchess put out a statement stating, I'm proud to now be able to share that I'm joining the brilliant team at Lemonada to continue my love of podcasting. Being able to support a female founded company with a roster of thought provoking and highly entertaining podcasts is a fantastic way to kick off 2024. So she plans to re-release archetypes as well as launching a dynamic dynamic new podcast and she's eager to be able to share it soon. Ah, uh, so are we, Megan. So are we. Girl, Archetypes was the business. I loved that podcast, still do. There's not one episode that was better than the other. They were all so valid. Even if you aren't uh, a blonde, quote unquote, the bimbo archetype, you can still identify with Paris Hilton. You can still identify with some of the things that she went through. She's been very public and very vocal about the challenges that she faced growing up. People having a negative misconception of you that's completely not even true or you even having to portray a character in order to fit in in a place so we've all had those experiences one of my other highlighted episodes that I go back to time and time again is her chat with Z-Way oh my god I love Z-Way so much I cannot believe how good that interview was it was so good so professional Z-Way Z-Way's kind of a comedic journalist and then Megan is a little bit more serious so you wouldn't think that that podcast would have been particularly groundbreaking or they had much to talk about, but it was so refreshing. I love the one with Mindy Kaling and Mariah Carey. Well, like I said, all of them are good. There's no one that's better than the other. I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed and I cannot wait for this new show. Oh my God. You already know it's going to be bomb. Their standard is so high. And that's another thing I really love about this couple. Independently, they have very high standards. Harry coming from the royal family and then Meghan having her high standards independently. And you can see it in things like the TIG. So even if you took away all of her resources being a royal, even when she wasn't a royal, she had this very successful blog, very successful travel and lifestyle website, very successful Instagram page, the TIG, which garnered, by the way, almost $100,000 a year in brand deals and endorsements and, and notoriety. So she made from her side hustle what a lot of people make in a year. The TIG was so well done and everyone is yearning for the TIG to be brought back as a lifestyle brand because we would eat that up. We would eat it up. We would goop on the weekends and TIG during the week. We would love the TIG back, Megan. So, um, Hint, diddy, hint, hint, hint. This week, the Sussexes are heading over to Vancouver to kick off the one year countdown to the Invictus Games in Whistler. I am excited for that too. I've come across this really amazing poem that kind of sums it up. It's by William Ernest Henley. It's called Invictus. It is beautiful. It is where Harry got that. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul line. I absolutely love that last paragraph. The entire thing is really very moving, but the last two paragraphs in particular, beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. 
It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Ugh! Harry! Harry know what the heck is all going on. He, know, he knows what he's doing. He absolutely knew what he was doing with that one. Love this Invictus poem. And I just want to share it with you guys too because they are getting ready to head over if they're not already in Canada. And I cannot wait to see the events kick off. We will definitely be seated and tuned in. Ahead of the kickoff, the Sussexes have redesigned their Archwell website. The website itself has been rebranded to Sussex.com. And to me, it looks like a bit of a revamp from sussexroyal.com. Their old Sussex Royal had a lot of blues, a lot of vibrancy to it, as does the new website. A little bit on the darker color scale of that blue, but still very rich and unique. Nothing wrong with the old website. The Archwell website was amazing, but this new website now has a lot more depth. It covers the umbrella of Archwell production, Invictus, all of their philanthropic efforts. So it's not just Archwell. It's kind of a umbrella of everything that they're doing and it's wonderful now of course this little rebrand has sent salt island into a tizzy manufactured tizzy sure we know it's all fake what they really mean is stop proving that you're better we know you're good okay fine you don't have to rub it in our face that's all i'm hearing you guys are not fooling anybody <laughs> at all one of the louder pieces of that chatter is that they are using the sussex name which they agreed allegedly conspiracy, whatever, not to do when they left the royal family, which is also a misconception. They agreed not to use Sussex Royal. They are now using Sussex, which is their given title from the queen, and they're free to use that. Additionally, I think that this also coincides with Harry's visit to his dad. The streets are whispering that Charles is desperate to get Harry back into the fold, which I can imagine. I mean, we don't see William doing F all. Uh, his wife's out of commission, feared missing, I don't know, conspiracy allegedly maybe, who knows. So there's just kind of a void, right, as far as royal engagements are concerned. And I do believe that Charles gave his blessings. I think that he is trying to butter him up to get that half in, half out deal that he so callously rejected at Sandringham all those years ago. But all the chatter right now, it is just manufactured rage. It's not real. You guys are not really outraged did anything you're just mad because again the Sussexes are proving that they have better resources better work ethic better project management skills than all the royals combined and you don't like that they're definitely shining brighter than anyone would have ever imagined outside of the royal family so that aside I do think that this is a signal that there is going to be some mending offenses as far as Charles and Harry's relationship. I don't see why they would rebrand to Sussex.com instead of just keeping Archwell.com if those conversations hadn't happened. Harry is very careful, very deliberate when it comes to dealing with his family. So I do think that this is a effort on Charles's behalf to bring the Sussexes or at the very least, Harry back into the fold. Now, I will reserve my opinions about that. All I can say is Godspeed to you, Prince Harry, in whatever decision that you make for your family and yourself. So with all that said, the new site is absolutely stunning, you guys. It's their style. I mean, we've seen a bit of the inside of their home. They're very cool tones, very chic neutrals, you know, sad beige, the whole bit. I love it. It's all very organized and you would expect nothing less. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have set a standard so high. You just can't beat it. You absolutely can't beat it. And we did get a couple new pictures last week from the new newly minted Sussex.com. These pictures depict Megan with the Welcome Project ladies. The Duchess of Sussex and the R12 Foundation launched the Welcome Project in 2023 to support women-led programming, creating a safe haven and inclusive environment for women who have recently resettled in the U.S. from Afghanistan. So this past Saturday, the Duchess joined the Southern California Welcome Project for an evening of cooking and storytelling. And I just 
can't. Is there anything she can't do? Look at this. This is so impactful. And I love that her projects all center around building up in a way that is actually tangible. So like with the Together Cookbook, you could count the sales. You can see the revenue that that brought in. You can then see the remodeling that they did as a result of that revenue. You can then see all of the kitchens that didn't have to close as a result of that revenue. People like Mina coming out and speaking and saying, if it weren't for the Duchess of Sussex, we would have never had this kind of attention brought to our cause and we would have been closed. She's such a tireless advocate for other women. Everyone really. I mean, she supports kids and communities and everyone else, but there is something about a girl's girl. There is just something about a woman's woman that just wants to see women overcome and succeed and prosper and do well. There is something about a woman's woman that is just irreplaceable. Having that friend that's a girl's girl is a gift. If you have this friend in your life, hold her close. Tell her you care about her every single time you see her because she's special. I will catch you guys on the next live or video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos drop. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. I hope to see all my members in the podcast for a special Valentine's Day episode where we're going to chat shit sip a few mocktails and really get into it. Get into all the royal gossip and the love stuff. I will also be giving an exclusive sneak peek on the next video to drop on inspiration and love, all about Megan's inspirations and her loves. You're not gonna wanna miss it. There's a ton of juicy stuff in there. So if you aren't a member of our court, join the People's Court and we will see you tomorrow for our special Valentine's Day podcast. Be kind and I'll see you later. Bye.